Hello and welcome to the Eduonix Facebook and Google Chrome Store app series. In this series we'll be taking an in-depth look at Facebook application development with JavaScript and PHP. We'll also be taking a look at what's involved in creating a Google Chrome Store packaged app and a hosted app. This video is an outline of exactly what we'll go over in this series. Chapter 1 will be all about HTML5 and CSS3. We'll go over the new HTML5 structure, the new form elements, and audio and video support. I will discuss some of the popular features like geolocation and canvas, but we won't really be using that in this series. Um, I'll also touch on CSS3 with things like the new selectors and media queries. And then we'll discuss JavaScript. We'll be going, um, basically going over the fundamentals, uh, things like variables, arrays, uh, loops, if statements, programming basics. Um, and Facebook also uses, as well as any API, data API, uses JSON for uh, data retrieval. So we'll go over what a JSON object is, how to, how to uh, define JSON arrays, things like that, how to loop through the values. Um, and we'll also be touching on PHP uh, much like JavaScript, we'll discuss the basics like loops and if statements, um, things of that nature. Next, I'll be going over why someone should create a Facebook application, uh, as well as some of the marketing and strategy. Um, I'll have an overview of what exactly a Facebook application is. Um, I'll go over the registration process. Um, I'll also go over Canvas, um, hosting, and we'll take, an app, we'll take a tour of the App Center and also the developer site which offers a ton of helpful information and we will also be creating a, a very basic application and just to display how how you would register an app and then uh, upload it on your server and um, set up the Facebook iframe or the canvas and after that we will get started with programming I'll go over the JavaScript software development kit and some of the API's and some of the methods such as get login status um, we'll learn how we can check to see if a user is actually logged into Facebook and also if they're authenticated by our application um, we'll go over the graph API which is pretty much how everything in Facebook is linked together uh, it has to do with objects and connections and we'll also take a look at the Graph API Explorer which is a uh, free tool that Facebook offers to actually see exactly how the API works um, using uh, JSON and we will build a Facebook login application it won't be a canvas app it'll actually be a separate website and we'll see how we can implement a Facebook login and log out um, social plugins will add to that Facebook login app. We'll add comment functionality, um, an activity stream, and some. We'll take a look at some of the other available social plugins. Chapter four will be basically we'll be starting our PHP application, which will be a blog app, and its functionality will be uh, someone will be able to add a blog to their Facebook page. Um, they'll be able to to create blog posts through Facebook. Um, we'll set up the application. We'll set up Canvas so that we can actually our blog can I mean our app can actually function within Facebook. Um, we'll go over the PHP login, which is a little different than the JavaScript login, and we'll be creating our blog dashboard, and we'll be using the API a bit. Uh, the blog app programming and database will we'll be creating a MySQL database through a tool called PHP My Admin. Um, we'll implement the database class for the app. Um, that will be methods to to create um, uh, posts, to delete posts, and to update posts. Um, read, write. We'll add we'll add a page tab to our page, our Facebook page. Um, we'll create the main blog area and we'll also learn how to write to the user's wall from our application. In chapter 6 we'll get started with the Chrome Store and how to 
um, upload an app both hosted and packaged apps we'll also go over what the difference is there um, I'll go over the developer site and some resources and help when developing a an application for the Chrome store and we'll be going over the manifest and the naming conventions and what exactly um, is included in a packaged app and in chapter 7 we'll basically take our our page blog Facebook application and add it as a hosted app in the Chrome store basically a, a hosted app is just a link to another domain or another application um, and then we'll also be creating a, a very simple HTML JavaScript app which we can package and actually upload as a packaged app so that's about it uh, it is a lot of information but it's not so advanced that the entry-level programmer can't get a grasp on it. So I look forward to working with you and I hope you enjoy the series.